Hi, so I'm going to show you the Google Drive account that everyone has as soon as they have an email account. First, you're going to come up here once logged in and you're going to select the little waffle icon and go to where it says Drive. Once in your account, there's lots of different things that you can look at. So we're going to take a second to look at um, some of the different features that are available. So this is an account that's been established for a while, so there's lots of items that you see here. Yours, if you're using it for the first time, may look something a little different. So as you can see, this account is brand new and has never been used. So there's really nothing available here in my drive. Also, if you've never used Google Drive before, your user face might look a little bit different. So you're going to have some different terminology over here, some different folders, some different things available to you um, that aren't available in the old version. And I will explain that in a different video. So for now, let's head back over to the other drive, and I'm going to explain what some of the other things mean. So here, where it says Create, if I click that, it's going to give me the option to create a folder to put my documents in, or to create one of the different um, options here, Document, which is like Microsoft Word, Presentation, which is like PowerPoint, Spreadsheet, which is kind of like Excel, and then Google also has the use of forms and drawing, which are kind of its own thing. On the side here, you notice I have some apps, and we'll talk about some of those things that are available to you in an advanced um, tutorial. This button here is going to allow you to upload. If you have files or folders that you want to come and bring into your Google Drive account, you can upload them here. So by clicking on Files, it's going to bring all of the files I have on my computer currently, and it'll allow me to select one of those files and open it within Google Drive. When I open it, it's going to ask me all of these different preferences. It is best to make sure all of these blue boxes are chosen before starting your upload because basically it's going to convert your document into the proper Google Doc format. I'm going to cancel out of that for now. And the next thing that I'm going to show you are the different options over here. So my drive is going to have everything in it. If I turn this little triangle to the left, it'll show you all of the different folders that I've created. Every folder that I've created that has a triangle next to it, if I click it, will show you there's folders within folders. So for instance here, I've got Apple IDs and then I've got inherited Apple IDs. Now by selecting the drop down arrow to the right, I can open the folder I also have the option of sharing the entire folder with a group of people or a person. I can star the folder. I can even move the folder to another folder. I can rename the folder a different title. I can change the color of the folder. Some people are color coordinated, like to do things that way. Um, I can also download it to my computer or I can delete it. So those are some options on that drop down arrow. So now I'm going to turn this arrow here so we can focus on the other things available. Shared with me is going to be everything that has been shared with you. So you may have tons of things here, you may only have a few. Starred is going to be everything that you want to access, kind of like creating your own bookmark of a website. You're creating things that you access maybe on a regular basis. That might be helpful. Recent might help you find a document that you've worked on recently or last opened or last modified. 
trash is going to be everything that you've discarded. And more is going to give you anything that you've made available offline, or it'll give you a list of all of your items within Google Drive. If you're unable to find a document within your Google Drive, there's a couple different ways that it could be easily accessed. One of the ways is to come up here and do a search for it. You can type in the name of it if you remember the name of it. Or by clicking this drop-down arrow, it gives you advanced options. If you know the type of file that it is, you can select the type. You can select that it's owned by you or not. Or if it's a shared file even. Another good way to find folders or files is to switch to a different view. The grid view up here at the top will allow you to actually see a little thumbnail of each of the documents. That might make it easier to help you find some of the different things. So those are some of the basics on how to use your Google Drive. Stay tuned for the next video.